The Assam Legislative Assembly passed three bills to create autonomous council for the Morand, Motak and the Koch Rasbunshi community in the state. While opposition Congress in Assam alleged that this step of creating new autonomous council reflects the policy of divide and rule and will cause geographical divisions in Assam. Here's a report. The Assam Legislative Assembly on Thursday passed three bills to create autonomous councils for the Moran, Motak and Koch Rajbonshi communities in the state. State Minister for the Welfare of Plain Tribes and Backward Classes, Chandan Brahma, introduced the Moran Autonomous Council Bill 2020, the Motak Autonomous Council Bill 2020 and the Kamatapur Autonomous Council 2020 at the Legislative Assembly. Brahma mentioned that the Moran Autonomous Council and the Motak Autonomous Council will have their territories marked out in the Upper Assam region, whereas Kamatapur Autonomous Council will have its dominant in the Golpara district. Even with the passage of the bills, there were questions raised by opposition MLAs about the grantings of the ST status to six communities, namely Koch Rajbonshi, Tai Ahom, Chutia, Moran, Motak, and T tribes. Leaders of the opposition, Devabrata Saikai, demanded a response to why other communities such as Ahoms, Chutias and T tribes are denied autonomous council. Meanwhile, opposition Congress MLA Rup Jaiti Kormi alleged that this step of creating new autonomous councils reflect the policy of divide and rule and will cause geographical division in Assam. While Minister Brahma said at assembly that granting of the ST status to the six communities is the priority of the state and the process is in the last stage. The assembly passing the proposal has led celebrations in some areas. Welfare of plain tribes and backward classes, Minister Chandan Brahma said that this is a historic day as assembly passed three bills enabling creation of these councils. Assam has three six scheduled councils, besides there are six development councils. Bureau report.